As part of my recent Where Are They Now? What Happened To series, I did a video on Adam Blompier. Adam Blompier, best known for What Culture, Cultaholic, Wrestle Talk, List Videos, No Rolls Barred, and things like that. He had a past where he'd got let his ego get out of control, and this turned to womanizing and manipulation of his audience. And then he disappeared and apologized and made a whole big video about that. Now, it seems, unfortunately, that his bad behavior has returned as there's now allegations of similar behavior from Carly, gnarly Carly, was on no roads barred. And the statement is pretty much here. So let's have a quick read. Whilst I do believe that most folks at No Rules Barred are decent human beings, I will no longer work with them or support them personally or professionally so long as an individual they know to be problematic and predatory still works there. And until I have fixed this, until they have fixed their systems that have allowed the abuse in the first place. I am being told that they are taking steps now to protect cast members and fans alike from this individual and future similar situations and believe in the heart of the folks doing so, but the moment, but at the moment, none of this can change what has manifested yet, save that I understand for a temporary disciplinary leave. In other words, he's currently been suspended for a month. In no way, in no way would I return to support, whilst I believe their ethics don't align with mine. At the moment, the care is more of the privacy of the predator than the safety of others. They are a business, and I can understand their choice as a business, but it simply doesn't align with my values. I likewise very much believe the capacity of folks to change and grow. I'm very glad that we have come to a space and allowed them to grow and change from a person that I was a decade ago, and I'd like to extend my grace to be able to grow from others in the world on what I did at this point. Unfortunately, if you're familiar with Adam's history, I like how she doesn't name him at the start, but she starts naming him at the bottom. Unfortunately, if you're familiar with Adam's history, it's more or less copy and paste problematic behavior. No world barred. There's, I, I'm fully aware of this and has stated to me that they intend to pursue better systems in protecting folks and elements of discipline. But I do believe they will address this head on publicly sorry, but I do not believe they will address this publicly or put safety and human decency ahead of protecting the face of their current channel. It's incredibly sad and makes me sick of seeing this abuse within the community. I adore and very, very hard to stomach. So this has been floating around for a week or two and people have even been commenting on my where are they now video that I have posted. So I'm just intrigued. How do you feel about this? Is this trial by media? Is this one off or do you think this is proof that leopards don't change their spots? What I'm going to do now is roll my previous video so you can see the previous behavior and then you can judge on past behavior. Adam Blompey, also known as Plumpy, has been a British YouTuber for as long as I've known. Initially, he started his work on the What Culture channel in which an entire generation of YouTube wrestling fans were born, sparking this passion from within people, including myself. Adam Blompier had previously had a history within sketch comedy, having been part of a group prior. He's very good at improv comedy. And this is what led his passion, his ability to present, to be such a crown jewel of the What Culture company. Blompier has been very well known for his artistic style, for his booking lists, for his knowledge of wrestling, his charisma, his artistic way of approaching things makes it entertaining. This is where, as what culture grew, Adam Blompier and the rest of the team that later turned into the Cultaholic team grew. Within this time, if you watch the What Culture channel, you'll also have noticed that they launched WCPW, which was What Culture Pro Wrestling, an independent wrestling company within the UK. It had a lot of success within its first few years. It had the advantage of being a wrestling company by the fans, for the fans, 
the what culture platform was able to leverage the youtube audience itself to spark initial interest running in local venues pulling in international stars this was a huge swell of notoriety for adam blompier and the what culture channel this is also when started to get to Adam Blompier's head a little bit and as he got bigger and bigger he was loved more and more by fans the more and more he had a buffet of people that he could pick from within his life unfortunately this was the start of his downfall within his relationship and the cracking in the persona of Adam Blompier within the online community in 2017 Adam Blompier and some of the founding members of the What Culture team announced that they were going to start creating cultaholic wrestling. Jack the Jobber, King Ross, although he couldn't use his gimmick, Adam Pacitti, Sam Driver, Adam Blompier. These were going to be stepping away and creating their own YouTube channel dedicated to wrestling. And as the mainstream wrestling fans on the YouTube platform got excited, the news started leaking out of Adam Blompier's infidelity. And this started causing problems with the reputation and he was very quickly removed from the announcement of the new channel. Blompier continued to harbour his own audience, his own fans, people understanding that you know his personal life and his business life can still be separate. After all everybody has their own private life and sometimes people cheat, some people don't work and I, I believe he has since worked things out with his partner, I may be wrong, but the asset which was Adam Blompier disappeared. All those list videos continued to be watched on what culture but he couldn't be found and for a period of time he apologized and took a hiatus away from youtube he apologized on twitter he apologized on youtube for his inappropriate behavior towards women seeking professional help and stepping away from his role at cultaholic even to the point where he was removed as one of the founding directors on Campbell's house and stepped away for a good period of time. This ironically leading to a point where Adam Blompier, who helped start the Cultaholic Wrestling Channel, never actually made a video for the Cultaholic Wrestling Channel. He wrote a couple of books based on how he would book certain situations, but overall he took a step back from the wrestling community. That was until his return, but to Wrestle Talk TV, not to Cultaholic. He did a guest spot on booking a royal rumble the response was so positive that he's now ever since been back as part of the wrestle talk team and not cultaholic he has since stated that there is no bad blood between cultaholic and himself it was just a chapter within his life that he likes to move on from he now has parts fun known in which he generates his list videos and his booking videos overall his return to the youtube platform was positive and he continues to create content to this day i believe that this was a case of fame getting to someone quite young and unfortunately the personal lives of someone being leaked onto the internet. Nothing he ever did was criminal, everything he did was moral, and his argument between him and his partner and his own personal sex life, I believe, should have remained personal. If it had ever gone criminal, if it had ever gone illegal, then fine, but this just goes to show that you can do something wrong, apologise, truly reflect on that, and come back.